first big dunes dawned, and for the BRX Hunter, it was the longest run the car had ever done, at 457 kilometers, and both got through with no technical problems. Nanny Roma saying the result doesn't show what a positive day it was. Sebastian Loeb had a great stage, seventh now overall, and was very happy indeed, especially as though between two control points he was the fastest of all on just the car's second ever competitive stage. South Africa's Brian Baraguana at first did the Dakar on a quad before working in Century Racing Squad as a mechanic, meaning he knows the car inside out, but hopefully not upside down. He's eighth overall today. After six Dakars on a bike, this is the sixth Dakar in a car for Shizgonski. His best was a fourth a couple of years ago, so he's on the cusp of a podium if all goes well this time around. He's a former Rally Raid World Champion as well as a Polish Drifting Champion. All skills that got him to fifth overall after this second stay. Matthew Serradori started fourth on the road today and he wanted to do a clean stage with no dramas after the early dunes and that worked for him in his 7 litre V8 buggy. Able to regulate the tyre pressures on the move, the plan played out perfectly with the Frenchman full of thanks to co-driver Fabian Lurcan for not missing a single note to get them fifth today and fourth overall. Yazid Al Raji started deep today in amongst the cars that had a one minute gap between each of them, so he had his work cut out and he did well, overtaking 11 cars. He's very happy indeed with his day on home soil. It's all been go for the amiable Arabian who's got such a huge following here in Saudi Arabia. 2020 Dakar winner Carlos Sainz also had some navigational problems. No one ever said the Dakar was supposed to be easy. But towards the end of the stage, an engine problem appeared that they reckon might have been a broken seal. But Sainz is OK. He's second overall. Stefan Pederhansel's main target was not to get stuck in the sand as the mini buggy was brim full of diesel early on and the dunes may have sunk the car no matter its ability to float over the sand. After two stages, he leads overall. Nasser al lost 12 minutes yesterday but had a clean day finding every point on the map even managing to overtake three cars in one go to then have no dust to hinder his view. He was flat out all day, but still got the car through without any damage to win the stage by two and a half minutes. The Qatari is now third on the Dakar. So after the first day in the sand, it was Alatia quickest by two and a half minutes from Peter Hansel and Sainz, Al Raji and Sarah Dori. Overall, after two stages, Peter Hansel has the advantage by six and a half minutes from his teammate, Carlos Sainz.